what's up beautiful people it's your girl shakira and i'm back at it with another video hey y'all long time no see yes i know but your girl is here to give you a life update because so much has been going on and it's been a while since i've been here i miss you guys so much i hope you'll miss me too <laughs> but i'm here to answer all the wondering questions questions all the assuming thoughts that are probably going through your head like does she have COVID does she quit YouTube is she pregnant is she this is she that <laughs> just sit back relax and make sure you subscribe to the channel and have that post notification bell turned on so you never miss when I upload okay because your girl's gonna be dropping the videos back to back to back to back we're back to work and we get into it and you don't want to miss out. And plus, what squad is better than the Sincere Squad? Y'all better let them know. Drop your yellow hearts down in the comments below. But before we get started, I got some people I'm going to shout out. Y'all have been going hard for your girl, okay? I have not recorded a video since February, to be honest. Like, a mess, okay? The last content that y'all saw on my channel was the Mom's Day Out. That was from February. Yo, who do I think I am? I, I owe y'all. I owe y'all content. So I'm going to be dropping it back to back to back. So make sure you have subscribed before you head out. Okay. Because we're on the road to 1K. We are currently at 924 squad members. Do you hear me? And I'm going to shout some of y'all out. Because listen. Y'all have been showing up and showing out for your girl. And I ain't even been posting like that. And I appreciate y'all so much freaking much because it just motivated me to get back to work like girl you need to get back on it these folks is depending on you they have subscribed to your channel and you need to get them the content that they came here for and no worries i'm here to do that so let me go ahead and tell y'all who the people i'm gonna shout out and it was super super random so i'm shouting out everybody because we've We've been going up, okay? Shout out to the Sensor Squad, hashtag Sensor Squad. But just a couple of people who came across on my email Tanika Houghton, Joyce Henry, Cecilia Stevens. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but it's like As Aspra? Aspra? I don't know. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Okay, forgive me. Um, Dwan Grim Grimillion. Marquia Sales, Darnell Kelly, y'all, it's just so many, but I just wanted to shout out just a few to let y'all know that I see y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all because y'all chose to be a part of the squad, okay? And not just anybody can be a part of the squad, you gotta be sincere to be a part of the sincere squad. So, welcome to the squad. Over here on my channel, I'm sharing motherhood, lifestyle, and inspirational things. So, trust me, if that's what you came here for, that's what I'm giving because... <laughs> Your girl is a mom boss, period. But y'all, let's go ahead and get into today's video because I have so much to just update y'all on. And I don't want to make this video super, super long because some of y'all are new here and y'all probably want to like know the tea anyway because it's like sis, I subscribe to your channel and you haven't been posting. So let me just get into it for y'all. Got my lash. Uh-oh. Okay. So first off, your girl's looking cute. Y'all see me with my orange? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Y'all see my braids? Get into the tribal braids, okay? Yes. All right, so for real, for real. So I'm going all the way back, like I said, to February because I haven't seen y'all in a while. So the content y'all saw in March was content I recorded in February, but I didn't post to March. Okay, so let me just go back to February so I can like get y'all up to speed. Actually, we're just going to start at the top of the year, January, because y'all know it was my birthday, my 20 grade year that I coined 20 grade. January 8th yeah that was my birthday and I went to Vegas and all that good stuff y'all saw those vlogs so January was on the pop and I was giving y'all the content back to back to back to back to back February giving y'all content but let me go back I have my notes so um if I'm looking down that's what I'm looking at because that's a lot that's like three months ago okay so going back to February like I said um I recorded everything in February because we had like date weekend. I had my mommy weekend out. Like I had a lot of stuff on the popping in February. But let me tell you, February, your girl started feeling bad. Okay. 
I was out. I was out for the count. Um, February 28th is when I ate at 10 Lindsay's, which is a Mexican cantina here in Atlanta. And I started feeling like sick. Like normally I get these fried jalapeno peppers, which are like so, so good, y'all. And I never had issues with them. But this time it was making me so sick. I'm like, what the heck? Like, and we were, we tried a new 10 Lindsay's this time. So I'm like, dang, did they do something to this? Like, I may have a stomach bug. Y'all, it was not good. Y'all, this stomach ache was going on for longer than a week, longer than two weeks. And I'm like, sis, no, like, I don't get sick, number one. That's first and foremost, praise God. But I'm like, this is not normal. So I'm like, let me schedule me a doctor's appointment and see what's going on to make sure I don't have like, you know, one of those stomach bug type things, a stomach virus or something. So y'all, I call to schedule a doctor's appointment and they're like, eh, we don't have any appointments to the end of April. Y'all. So like I said, I ate there February 28th. A week or two go by. So it's like March now, but that's a whole month away. Sis, my stomach is hurting. I needed to figure out what was going on. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to just take the appointment because there's nothing else I can do unless I go like to ER or to urgent care. And I didn't feel like it was like, like dire knee. And I'm not the type of person to just go to the emergency room. Like I hate hospitals, period. Like, so if I'm not dying, I'm not going. So I was like, let me just take the appointment. So I took the appointment. So I go about my business. I try to get back to work and start recording in March. But March, y'all, I did not record at all because the way that I was feeling, I'm like, my stomach shouldn't be feeling like this. Like, I eat these jalapeno peppers all the time. And they're really, really hot. Don't get me wrong. But I love hot food. So anyways, y'all, March, I'm not able to, like, I'm not on my grind like I usually am. So I'm like super just sluggish and just not motivated to work and I'm like sis you got to get out of this funk and I started to make a video for y'all like how to get out of a rut how to get out of a funk and like get back to work but I couldn't even get myself out of it to record a video like that like what so that wasn't working so I was just like journaling and praying asking God like what is wrong with me like please reveal it to me because I have no clue and listen sis the last thing that was on my mind was COVID because I rebuked that devil in the name of Jesus. The last thing that was on my mind was pregnancy because this was my 20 gray year and I'm like, no. So I'm like, this just a stomach bug and I don't know what I need to take to get over it because I've never had one of these before either. So I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So fast forward to March 22nd, y'all. March 22nd, your girl's like, let me just go and get a pregnancy test because I'm going to rule this out. Like, I'm not pregnant. I know I'm not pregnant, but I need to start ruling out. So I was like, let me get me a pregnancy test. I'm going to take me a COVID test and just mark these two out. So your girl went and bought three pregnancy tests. Your girl went and scheduled a COVID test. Keep up with the dates. March 22nd, I took three pregnancy tests. And... They were all positive. Your girl was positive. Let me just run it back. I'm going to just run it back to the clip. The cheap one trying to say I'm pregnant. <laughs> this is the cheap one I got from Dollar Tree. And this definitely has two lines. Now the more expensive one is positive. <sighs> okay. So, as you see, three pregnancy tests that I took, and they came back positive. Your girl was just in shock. I'm like, it's no way. I'm pregnant. It's my 20 great year. Like, God, talk to me. Talk to me, Heavenly Father. What is you trying to tell me? Because I thought this was my 20 great year. And for me, in my mind, 20 great didn't include another child. Okay, I already have a two-year-old. Who requires a lot of attention. So in my mind I'm like. Ain't no kids in the mix. No time soon. Maybe when he turned four. But God had other plans. And that right there just shows you that. God's timing is perfect. And we cannot go based off of our time. Okay. He revealed it to me. Not one. Not twice. But three times y'all. So then I had to tell my husband. Like I couldn't just hold it in. Like it was like what the heck. Like normally the first people I'm going to call is my mama and my husband. But I didn't want to call my mama. I just told my husband he was already at home. So y'all 
I told my husband and he talking about some. He already knew it was something. He was just going to let me drag out my three week stomach ache. My three week stomach ache that I had. And I'm like, you didn't know nothing. Like, dude, cut it out. So, I'm like, sheesh, now I gotta call and, like, do a different type of appointment. Because the appointment that I was making was just, like, a checkup because I wasn't feeling well. So, now I gotta call the doctor back and be like, I need to get a, I don't even know what it's called, like, a pregnancy appointment or whatever. So, I call back. This particular doctor's like, oh, no, she's not taking any um, pregnancy patients at this time, yada, yada, yada. So, I'm like, oh, no. What am I going to do? So, of course, your girl figured out real quick. Call up my other doctor. And I'm like, I need to make a pregnancy appointment. And I was able to get one on April 6th. <laughs> okay? So, like I said, I took the test March 22nd. My appointment wasn't going to be to April 6th. To confirm, confirm. Because I already had three tests. It was pretty confirmed. First of all, let me tell you, what, well, y'all saw what tests I took. So I already took three tests. So it was pretty confirmed. But April 6th was going to be the day that it like clicked for me. Because like it wasn't like real yet to me. I'm like, mm-mm. Something wrong with these tests. Like this not real. This is not true. So I had to see an ultrasound or something to try to figure out what was up. But y'all let me, let me just tell you this part. I couldn't remember if I had a cycle in February. I definitely wasn't having one in March. I'm like, what is going on? Why my cycle not here yet? Because I lastly remember in January, beginning, beginning of January, before I went to Vegas, is when I had my cycle. But I couldn't remember in February. And in March, I definitely didn't have one. But I still was not thinking pregnancy, right? So anyways, y'all, April 6th, went to the doctor. Pregnancy was confirmed. Guess how many weeks I was? Can y'all believe I was already 10 weeks? I'm over here talking about I got a three week stomach ache. Whole time I'm 10 weeks pregnant. Yes. Your girl was 10 weeks pregnant. And I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> like why I couldn't see the signs. I knew like my body was feeling different. But I'm like I'm just not feeling well. Like it's not pregnancy. I just thought it wasn't feeling good. Your girl was 10 weeks pregnant. And let me tell you. So yes, yes, yes. Your girl is pregnant. That's where I've been. My first trimester kicked my butt, okay? I was extremely exhausted, which is normal for pregnancy and moms who watch me. Y'all already know, y'all be exhausted that first trimester. And same thing with my son, like it was the same way. But the other kind of symptoms that I was having, like one, it was like once they confirmed it at the doctor, like other symptoms started happening. It was so weird. So I was extremely tired. One. Two, I was having morning sickness. So every morning when I would brush my teeth, I'm just like not feeling well. Just, you know, vomiting. And it was just get, ask the, what is it called? The reflex thing when you brush your teeth. It was just bad. And um, what else? What other symptoms was I having? Y'all, I was craving all type of ridiculousness like Taco Bell. Your girl don't eat no Taco Bell ever. I don't eat that. That is trash. But your girl was craving Taco Bell. I said something is not right. Because guess what? When I um, was pregnant with Sincere, I didn't have any of these symptoms. No morning sickness. No cravings. My entire pregnancy, y'all. So it was different for me. It was like, well, what is this? Like, this is crazy. So... Yeah, I was having them kind of symptoms. And guess what? I ate that Taco Bell and it was so disgusting. Never again. That was the one time I had that craving and that was it. I have not eaten it since and I will not be eating it again because that is nasty. I'm sorry. If y'all eat Taco Bell, like how y'all eat it? Because it's just not good. Like, and then I guess because like my favorite food is seafood and Mexican. If you've been here, then you know. But that's not Mexican food and them kind of tacos just made me sick. So I'm like, let me stay away from it. So anyways, those are the symptoms that I was experiencing and I just like could not have any energy to do any of the things that I needed to do that I wanted to do. Like some days I would just stay in the bed because it was just so hard for me to get up and I was just so tired and just, you know, dealing with a two year old and still, you know, I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a boss. Like I got a lot of stuff going on and I was just tired. So there's no way I could record videos for y'all. Like, I was even looking tired. Okay, this is cute for the first time. This is the first time I actually did my makeup in a really, really long time. Probably since the Mom's Day Out video. 
to be honest and like I said that was in February so I have not done my makeup since then so excuse it if it looked kind of bad y'all let me know if my makeup look bad my makeup look bad or do it look okay but anyways y'all so yes so I found out I was pregnant on April 6th and that day changed my life forever because that confirmed that I was going to be a mom of two i'm going to be a mom of two so yes i'm pregnant if you follow me on instagram which you should be at life is so sincere then you already know that because i made the announcement on sunday mother's day and that was our baby announcement so yes we had a photo shoot we did all the things you know because your girl is over the top and extra and if you know do you know what i really really want okay so just go ahead and manifest with me. Go ahead and pray with me. And let's speak it into existence. Because y'all know what I really want. Of course I want a healthy baby. But I know what I want. I know what God needs to give me. I know what he wants to give me to make my family complete. Okay. So y'all go ahead and manifest it for me. So it can come around full circle. So that is what's been up in my life. As far as that part. So y'all in the beginning of April, the first week of April, we went to Miami for like, um, it was business slash a little vacation. And that was super cool. I do have some things that I'm working on for y'all. So yeah, y'all stay tuned for that. Let's see, what else have I been up to? Sincere is just growing and glowing, honey. Like my baby is just so freaking smart. He is so phenomenal. Like every day I just look at him like, who are you you're like a little old man like y'all he's so sweet he's so smart he's so busy and yes motherhood gets tiring especially when you're baking and creating and producing another child inside like but I wouldn't trade it for the world like he is just my everything I have not had a mom's day out since we had one in March. We didn't do one in April. And now it's May. We'll we'll have one this month, hopefully. So we can catch up. I have not been on Instagram since February as well. So I literally was not working. Like, I didn't do no work in March or April. But I'm back. I'm back and I'm better, better. And I want you guys to let me know all of the content ideas, all the pregnancy videos y'all want to see me do. I already made like a super long list of some videos I have in mind. But of course, I'm here to give y'all what y'all want and what you need. So if there's anything in particular that you want to see a video on, let me know down in the comments. Feel free. It can be pregnancy related, mom related, entrepreneur life, like whatever you want to see, like that's within realm of my channel I will try to make happen for you all what else has been up so had two doctor's appointments I got back into therapy because I had took a break from therapy as well for like a couple months but I'm back in therapy first I started doing bi-weekly and then now I think I'm gonna do like once a month I don't know I kind of switch it up depending on like how I'm feeling what my mood is and I'm just very in tune with myself very introspective and I just go based off my needs so yeah I've been doing therapy what else y'all I'm just now I'm kind of rambling because I don't have all this wrote down. I pretty much gave y'all a rundown of the pregnancy surprise. But now it's May. Like Mother's Day has come and gone. I had a beautiful Mother's Day. Just like knowing that I'm going to be a mother of two is just like a whole different type of joy. Like it's crazy that you think like oh my heart has already been filled like when God gave me one blessing but it's like he now he's expanding my heart for another blessing and I'm super excited oh I didn't tell y'all when I would be due so okay so uh, I'm sure some of y'all could probably calculate it but I'm gonna just give y'all the tea so I'm gonna be due October 29th this is that's kind of weird for me like I don't I never thought I would have had an October baby but God's will, God's way. So, October 29th is when I'm due. For the gender, you're going to need to stay tuned, honey. Because you're going to have a video dropping on that. I'm not doing like a surprise gender reveal towards me. Like, <laughs> your girl is going to know, okay? Y'all just wait and see, okay? Yeah, I mean... 2021 is still my 20 great year It's still looking up god has major blessings in store like i have so much coming for you guys i really need you to make sure you're subscribed to this channel like this video and comment down below and just make sure you have those post notifications turned on because you're not going to miss anything that i'm giving you because i'm giving what needs to be gave honey okay your girl is back
I feel I'm feeling like myself again. Oh, that was another thing, y'all. So I had needed to like just update my beauty boutique and like clean it out and just declutter my house. Normally in April, I do a declutter challenge. I didn't even do that because I was just so tired. Still in my first trimester, not wanting to do anything, but I finally got around to do a sincere's room and then I kind of did the beauty boutique and I'm still working throughout my house little by little not trying to like overwork myself so there's that um yeah I have a couple videos that I had filmed before this one that I will drop after this video so I probably will look a little bit different well I know I will look a bit different because I've had a couple hairstyles since so I'll drop those videos after I drop this one for you all but yeah we back on schedule Tuesdays and Fridays 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Your girl will be given what needs to be gave. And if I can pump out more content videos for you guys, then I would definitely try to do so. But like I said, I'm not trying to overwork myself. I do still have other projects that I'm working on, other things that I'm a part of. So, you know, YouTube is definitely my main thing, okay? So we're on the road to 1K. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share, share, share. Share to your Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, wherever you be, I need my YouTube channel to be there too. Share with your people, share to your contacts and your messages, whatever. Just let people know life is so sincere and to tap in, baby, because we're doing different type of stuff this year, okay? We are leveling up. I'm just super excited. Our goal is 1K. We're going to hit that by the end of May, so let's, let's help your girl out, all right? But... I just wanted to come on here and just give you guys a life update and let you guys know that no, I did not have COVID. No, I did not quit YouTube. But yes, I am pregnant with baby number two. And I'm super, super, super excited. And I hope that you guys are excited too because you're going to get to come on this journey with me. With Sincere, I kind of started YouTube like after he was already born because that was my first born and I wanted it to be very intimate and I didn't like record like the whole process but baby number two i am going to give you all the tea all the videos y'all want to see and just bring y'all through this process with me since i got to have my firstborn to myself and you know now that we've built a whole since your squad i kind of like oh y'all a little bit um <laughs> so yes y'all just share let's run these numbers up i appreciate y'all i love y'all so much and i can't wait to just give y'all more so until next time, I love you guys so much. And don't forget, we always walk by faith and slay plus pray each and every day because God, he will make a way. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time.